In this video, I'll demonstrate how assignments work in Legends of Learning. I'll start as a teacher and create a playlist as an assignment. Then I'll switch to the student side to show how to join and complete the assignment. Finally, I'll return to the teacher side to show how to track student progress and performance. I'm signed into my teacher account, and from the home page, I'll click Build a Playlist. I'll choose the science subject area and the middle school grade level, and now I can choose my topic or learning standard. I can browse the topic list, or I can narrow the search by entering any part of the topic name, or by entering any part of the standard code. I'll choose the water cycle and click Next. Now I'm in the Playlist Builder page, where I can add games and assessments. Game tiles are laid out below the timeline, and I can scroll to see the entire list. Instructional games and question games both contain topic-related content, and question games also include questions that students answer as part of game play. Estimated playtime also appears here, as well as teacher and student review summaries. Hovering over a game tile displays recommended grades, a brief game description, and icons that indicate whether the game is iPad compatible or supports text-to-speech. I can try out the game myself, or click More Info to see details such as vocab words, discussion questions, and main concepts. I can click to read teacher or student reviews, and I can add my own review. When I find a game I want to include in the assignment, I can click Add to Playlist, or just drag and drop the game tile into the timeline. Assessments are sets of topic-related questions that students answer as part of the assignment. With a basic Legends of Learning account, I can add a quick assessment, which randomly draws a specified number of questions from the assessment database. With a premium account, I can also create a custom assessment, in which I can select concepts, depth of knowledge levels, and formats. I can see question answers, and select the specific questions I want in the assignment. Within the playlist timeline, I can use drag and drop to rearrange the order of activities, edit a custom assessment, or use the X icon to remove an activity. The total estimated playtime is listed just below. Once the assigned activities are completed, students will have free play, which means they can continue with more games. With a basic Legends account, I can fill my playlist with games and assessments from the selected topic. With a premium account, I can start with this topic, then switch to other topics, or grade levels, or subject areas, to find additional activities to include. My teacher code is always displayed in the top right corner of any Legends page. Students who access my assignments via the Legends of Learning site will need this code in order to join an assignment. If my school or district has premium access and has integrated Legends with Google Classroom or Canvas or another LMS, my students won't need my teacher code because the assignment link will take them directly to the activities. Once my playlist is set up, I can assign it right away or I can wait and assign it later. Any playlist I've created will be listed in my playlists page where I could edit the playlist if needed and then assign it. I'll click Assign Playlist here to make the playlist live immediately. By default, the assignment will be available to all students, but I can limit the assignment to specific student groups. I can keep the default assignment name or change it keeping in mind that this is the assignment name students will see when they sign in. The assignment will be available during this time period, which I can change. I could also set the duration so that the assignment will be live between future dates. I have two choices for game mode. Full game mode is the default, in which students access the activities from within our Awakening game, complete with game avatars and monster battles. Basic mode can be used when students are using devices with slower speed or internet connections. Basic mode is also the default for students using iPads. The selected game mode will apply to all students who join this assignment. Farther on, I'll show how the student experience looks in both game modes. After clicking Assign, the assignment is live and students can join. I also have the option to assign the playlist in Google Classroom. Once live, I can check student progress on the Live Assignment page. But first, I'll demonstrate how students join and complete the assignment. As a student, if I'm joining the assignment from the Legends website, I'll go to login.legendsoflearning.com, click Student, then click Play Teacher Assignments. 
I can log in if I already have an account, or sign up to create an account. I can also sign in with a Google account. I'll find the teacher whose assignment I'm supposed to complete and enter their teacher code here. After clicking Enter, I'll see all of the live assignments available for me, and I'll click the assignment I'm supposed to complete. This playlist is live in full game mode. As I mentioned earlier, if I'm accessing the assignment from Google Classroom or an LMS, I'll go directly to the assignment activities. If this is my first time joining an assignment, I'll first need to set up my avatar for the Awakening game. Once that's done, or if I've already set up my avatar, I enter Awakening, where the assignment activities appear in order on the map. At the top left, I can see my coins, which are earned by battling monsters during assessments, and can be spent on battle cards, avatar accessories, and dance moves. Gems are used for at-home subscribers. Brain power points are earned during game play, and can unlock more games. As I proceed through the games, I collect brain power points. Assessments are completed as my avatar wins battles against monsters with each correct answer, adding to my coin count. After completing the assigned activities, I can battle more monsters in the Awakening Metropolis. These battles include questions which, when answered correctly, give me power cards I can use to defeat the monsters. Completed battles bring more coins. And along the way in Awakening, I can play more mini-games and earn more brain power. I can also find data drives, which I can use to unlock game wait times. Once I make it to base, I can click to walk around and explore. I can change my appearance, access other teacher assignments, connect with hero friends, find more data drives in the data center, and here is where I can access more mini games to play and earn more brain power. I can go back up to Metropolis, where I can use coins to buy clothing and accessories, or new dance moves, or monster fighting cards. Down in the subway, I can battle even more monsters. If the assignment is in basic game mode, I have the same games and assessments without the monster battles or metropolis or base. Once the assigned activities are complete, I'll be able to play free play games in the playlist topic. Now let's go back to the teacher account. While I have assignments that are live, I can open any assignment by clicking the Live Assignment bar, finding the assignment I want to check, and clicking Go to Class Progress. I can also access all playlists, including live assignments, through my Playlists page. I can pause or end the assignment, or click Edit Assignment if I want to change the name, students, dates, or game mode. Farther down, I can see each student who has joined the assignment. I can filter the list by searching for a particular student, or I can filter by student groups, or I can change the sort order by name or progress. On the student avatars, a green triangle indicates a student actively playing, and a gray circle means that the student is finished or taking a break. A red stop sign means that the student has the assignment open, but has also opened another web page or isn't focusing on the assignment. I can see what each student has completed, and if needed, I can restart a student for the entire assignment, or skip a student through a game. Clicking the View Student Data button opens a report in which I can see how the student is doing so far on each game question and assessment question. The Report button shows these results for the entire class, and I can filter students here as well. This report can be downloaded as a CSV file. For any questions that arise while using Legends of Learning, please refer to our knowledge base or open a support chat. Now go forth and be legendary.